Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to create a JMeter test plan from the postman request or collection. Right. So we have uh, written some request or we have created some collection in the postman. So eventually we want to run this postman request or collection from the JMeter uh, for doing some performance testing or load testing. Right. So usually how do we uh, create a, a JMeter uh, test? So we'll go to the JMeter, we'll create some test plan and we'll we'll keep adding this or endpoints uh, by using the STPT methods and all. Right. So instead of uh, doing that one, we can uh, listen our postman traffic uh, by using the local host and port number. We can create, I mean, uh, we can record those things from the postman and we can import those things to JMeter, right? So that's the way, I mean, whatever the uh, you, you are running in the postman, it will be getting record to the JMeter and it will be created one test plan in the JMeter itself. Okay, so that's what we are going to see today. So converting our postman request or collection to the JMeter test plan. So that's where you can uh, run from the postman as well, as well as JMeter also you can convert. I mean, we are converting from postman to JMeter. So in JMeter also you can execute the script. Okay. So this is a one of the easy format where you can collect, I mean, uh, convert your postman request or collection to the JMeter test plan. So we'll, we'll see that one now. So first thing what we have to do, uh, you can, you have to set the traffic control. I mean, the traffic is like, so what is a local host or what is the IP address? Or what's the port the postman is running okay so we'll go to the postman first so this is my postman you have to go to this settings tab under settings you will find this uh, proxy setting right so by default it will be like uh, use a system proxy you have to uncheck this one and make sure you are checking this add custom proxy okay so when you've done uh, this one you have to give us a local host you can give any port number you want okay so in my case i have given us a 8083 you can give any port you want Okay, once this is done, make sure this is saved uh, correctly. Again, I will re-verify this one. Okay, so this is done. So I have one collection, I mean, one collection here. And we'll go for a request, single request first, and we'll go for a collection level. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to come to the JMeter. So here you can go for a template option. So click on this template, and here you can see the recording template option, right? So click on this recording and create it. Leave as it is everything. We don't want to change anything here. So click on the create button. So it will be one test plan is created now here, right? So you can see the thread group and recording controller by default, it will get added. Okay. So now come to this uh, STPPS uh, test script recorder page. So here, what we have to do, we have to select this target control. So where our, I mean, all the recording has to be created, I mean, stored, right? So here we'll be storing under this recording controller. So I'm selecting that path. And this is a port, right? So we have given us a 8083. So we have to change that port number here. And you simply click on the start button. Okay, so as soon as you are click on the start button, you could see this certificate and all. So click on OK. If you are not, I mean, if you are not getting this OK, if it is not getting launched, then you have to add this certificate. Okay, so how do we find the certificate? You have to go to this, uh, where you have installed your JMeter, go to this bin folder. Here you can see the certificate. Okay, so this is how we have to import the certificate. Okay, so I mean, how do we import? You can come to again Postman. So here you can see import option for, uh, I mean, uh, certificate import option. Okay, so here we don't have any import option, but this will work. So you don't want to import anything on your case. If you face any issue, please uh, leave it in the comment. I will give you the, I mean, a solution for that one. Okay, so now our recording is started. So now we can, we can go to the Postman. So this is a postman, right? So you can give any transaction name, like this is a get method, right? So I will simply give us a get method. Okay, I have named as a get method. Now I will make this request. I'm getting some response, right? So we'll now go to the postman. Here you can see under this recording controller, one get method is get created, right? This get method name is coming from here. So when you expand this one, you can see the HTTP request is getting created. So this is a endpoint that we are using from the postman, right? So dummy rest API example.com. Okay, so everything will be captured from the postman. Now we can stop this rec uh, recording and we can execute this one from the directly from the JMeter. Okay, so by default, it has a view tree results uh, report. I will run this now, you can see. So this is what we are getting in the response. Okay, this is the one, right? So you can see in the request, it's a request that the complete URL went and in the response body, whatever the data that we are getting in the postman, the same thing coming to the JMeter as well, right? 
so now again uh, we'll we'll go for a one more uh, recording i mean uh, one more recording option for the post method okay so again you have to start this one okay make sure if you are facing some uh, ca certificate jmeter ca certificate error you have to import that one that you can find in the bin folder of your jmeter okay so this time i will uh, rename as a post method okay so i will come to the postman now i will make this request now okay okay so i'm getting some uh, bad request when i i will make one more time let's see i'm getting the 200 or yeah so i have got 200 now let's go to the postman here you can see i mean two time we have executed right so that's the reason it i mean it, it has recorded two time okay so this is the second one which we got the success message here you can see right so these are the body parameter the, i mean body request body that we are sending here so everything is getting recorded in the jmeter so now i will delete this one this is i mean uh, it is unsuccessful i will delete this one i will stop the recording now i'll execute from the jmeter itself okay i will clear the previous record uh, results okay so the post method is getting failure why it is getting failure everything is correct only okay so what is the response that we are getting so request body i mean the response we had a retail posted everything is getting passed okay we'll try one more time maybe that uh, the same error that we got right it could be the same reason i will execute one more time let's see this time it is getting passed or not yeah this time you can see it is getting 200 Okay, so we were getting some failure from uh, running the test from Postman as well. The same uh, uh, error that we are getting from the JMeter as well. So now you can see everything is getting passed, right? So we can go to the response data. The same response data we are getting in the Postman as well, right? Status, success, and this one, every all the details that are coming from the Postman. The same request response we are getting in the JMeter as well, right? So this is how we do the. Uh, I mean, uh, we'll create a test span by listening the our Postman uh, proxy setting, right? So now, uh, I mean, a postman traffic uh, setting. I mean, we are listening to the, this postman traffic by using this local ghost and with a particular port number. And we are recording all the activities that we are doing from the postman. Okay. So now we'll do, we have seen the each individual request, right? So we'll do run as a collection and we'll see how does it work. Okay. Again, I will uh, select one more template. Okay, I'm creating one more new template. I'm, I'm just uh, ignoring the previous one. So here, again, we have to come here. We have to change the port number 8083, right? So here we can uh, we can rename this one as a collection recorder. Collections, I will name it as a collections. So now when we come to here, so we have to select the path where the recording has to be placed. So I'm, I'm saving this under test plan thread group collection this is a folder that we created i mean just rename that one right so that is what coming here okay so now we can uh, use this start button to recording the things okay so i mean a transaction name you can ignore now if you want you can give one again like so again we'll give us a collections or i will give us a postman collection okay so that this folder will be created under this collection folder that's all okay so now we'll go to the postman. I will run this collection. So this is how we run the collection, right? So this collection has four requests. All the four requests will be recorded to the JMeter test plan. Okay, so now I'm running this one. So it has uh, four uh, requests, HTTP requests. I'm running this one. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can see everything is getting passed. Uh, I mean, there are no failures. Everything is getting passed. Okay, so there are no failures. So now we'll uh, go to the JMeter. Okay, so we'll stop the recording. And you can expand this collection. Again, one more collection. Uh, we have Postman collection folder that we have given as a name, right? So here you can see a Postman collection one, two, three, four. All the four requests is getting generated here. I mean, recorded here, right? So one is post method. Second one is a get method. Third one is a put, and the final one is a delete method, right? So we'll run this case from uh, JMeter directly and say, let's see the res results. Okay, I'm running directly from the uh, JMeter now. 
so here also everything is getting passed right so here you can see this is a post method and this is a get method this is a put method and this is a delete method right so this one you can directly use uh, from for the performance testing or load testing right so this is how we record the uh, things from the postman so if you have some uh, already existing any collection or request you can simply uh, go into this proxy setting you have to define as a local ghost or ip address you can give right so go to settings here the proxy setting you have to check this option and you have to give the particular port number that port number you have to pass in the jmeter as well so it will automatically record from your postman and it will create one test card in the jmeter okay so the same thing can be done from the uh, uh, browser also so in the browser you can particularly go to this uh, options so here you will find the network options right so network settings you have to change this manual proxy setting and you have to uh, give us a local ghost or any port number you want to give so it will be record from your web i mean uh, the browser any browser you can use okay so if you if you go to some website and if you want to uh, record all the steps that will be record automatically okay so that's all about uh, how to uh, create a jmeter test plan from the postman request or collection okay so the simplest way you can uh, convert your postman collection to the jmeter test plan and you can run it from here okay so i will delete one more time i'll run one more time let's see okay this time we are seeing some failures okay so the response data is i mean the same error that we got last time right so here you can rename it so this one is a post method right so you can make name rename as a post one and this is a get one and this is a put one and this is a delete okay so now we'll run this again let's see so it will come as a post get put like this so it will be easier to understand right so post method is success get is success put is getting some error and delete also success okay so this is how we'll convert the postman uh, request or collection to the jmeter test plan okay so if you guys have any doubt uh, please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section thank you guys